Hello everyone, it is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Friday, April 10th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And sadly, I must begin today with news on the passing of actor Richard Dysart. He died on April 5th at the age of 86 due to cancer. We remember Richard Dysart, of course, for playing Leland McKenzie on NBC legal drama L.A. Law, which aired from 1986 to 1994. He was nominated for four Emmy Awards for that role. He won on one occasion. In 1972, he took home the Drama Desk Award for that championship season. He played characters over the course of his career ranging from General Dwight D. Eisenhower and Harry S. Truman to J. Edgar Hoover, and he appeared in a number of theatricals, including The Hospital, The Terminal Man, Pale Rider, Mask, and Back to the Future 3. Rest in peace, Richard Dysart. Heading over to cable, let's talk about HBO. The Cable Net has announced that the upcoming second season of its crime anthology, True Detective, will begin on Sunday. Sunday, June 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The cast in this upcoming second season will include, excuse me, Colin Farrell, Vince Vaughn, and Taylor Kitsch. Eight episodes have been ordered, and True Detective will be leading into new comedies, Ballers and the Brink, from 10 to 11 p.m. So that is HBO, effective on June 21st. True Detective, Ballers, and the Brink. Stars has announced that its upcoming new drama series, or drama limited series, Flesh and Bone will open on Sunday, November 8th. I have a complete description for you on Flesh and Bone in today's newsletter and at our website in the world of syndication. The two shows, or two of the shows that will never end, will outlive us all, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy have been renewed through the 2017-18 season. That will take Wheel of Fortune through 35 seasons and Jeopardy 34. Wheel of Fortune is hosted, of course, by Pat Sajak and Vanna White is uh, the person who turns the letter. She has the easiest job in show business. Uh, let's head over to Netflix. The upcoming third season of Orange is the New Black. There is a preview available. I have a link for you in today's newsletter to give you upcoming scenes of the third season. I have to tell you of any show this year, the one series that gets the most buzz at that water cooler is certainly Orange is the New Black. Everybody loves it. I have to get into it. I've seen it. I'm not addicted, but I really have to give it a shot again. And then coming up on the air tonight on Netflix, effective at 3.01 a.m., the entire first season of Marvel's Daredevil will be streamed available on Netflix. And speaking of Marvel, apparently ABC is looking to spin off another spinoff series from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't have any information on it, but here's the good news. If they're looking to spin off another series from that show, then obviously Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is coming back for a third season. The ratings are really not all that stellar. This is not the hit that ABC was hoping for, but the network is still very interested in these type of dramas. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1988. We had the debut on Fox of America's Most Wanted, hosted by John Walsh, who I have had the honor of meeting on a few occasions. Now, it began in 1988. It went off the air in 1996. Fox decided to cancel it. Well, two months after canceling it, Fox decided, let's bring it back. So, America's Most Wanted stayed on Fox through 2011, ultimately was canceled again, what appeared in a series of specials on Fox, then moved over to one final season on Lifetime. So America's Most Wanted on this day in 1988, I remember it premiering like it was yesterday, and I'm sorry to say that the show is no longer on the air. I think this was a very, very important series, but John Walsh is still very active in that field of looking for uh, fugitives. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 10th day of April. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will see you back on Monday.